Hey, I'm Jeff Nelson with VegSource. Don't you hate being misled or lied to? I know I do. The purpose of this video is to talk about 801010 and to expose a deception by Doug Graham that he is somehow responsible for 801010. And uh, I'm going to tell you who is responsible for 801010, but first, I'm going to show you a video that Doug has on his YouTube channel right now. And in that video, Doug uh, craftily edits another video, a TEDx talk of Colin Campbell, to try and make it seem like Colin Campbell endorses Doug or endorses Doug's 801010 diet. And nothing could be further from the truth. All right, now I'm going to show you the video. I'm actually going to put a link uh, to both Doug's video, the one that I'm excerpting here, and to Colin Campbell's TEDx video in case you want to look at those and see for yourself. Let's look at what Doug did with Colin Campbell's video. So what are your thoughts, Dr. Graham, on Dr. T. Colin Campbell promoting 801010? Well, in his words, this is a quote from the book. Aim to get 80% of your calories from carbohydrates, 10% from fat, and 10% from protein. That's in his new book, Whole, uh, mm -hmm. published just May 7th this year. Dr. Campbell also had this to say about the 801010 diet at a recent TED Talk. Nutrition, if we think of it biologically, is actually using food to maintain health and prevent disease. And the typical diet that we now, in my view, believe is the healthiest possible diet is the so-called 801010 diet. It's the healthiest possible diet is a so-called 801010 diet. Namely, it's I've known Colin Campbell for more than 20 years. It's always been an honor. I, I hold him in the highest regard. And I think his his vision and his dedication to the truth is Is the best bar none. I mean, he's he's he states the truth, and I'm honored that he agrees so fully with 801010. So Doug is honored. He's honored that Colin Campbell agrees with him. Colin agrees with Doug. Well, actually, I sent this video, a link to this video, to Colin Campbell, and asked him what he thought about it. And he wrote me this. Colin said, Jeff. Although I have heard of Doug Graham and sort of knew what he was doing, I never met the man. In fact, this video is the first time in my recollection that I have seen him even on a video. Actually, I recall seeing a different person with a beard that I thought was Graham. I sometimes refer to the 101080 or the 801010 as a good approximation of the nutrient composition of the whole food plant-based diet. I don't support a raw food diet because I'm not familiar with any reliable published evidence to that effect and have made this same point in response to questions when asked. Never did I endorse Graham's dietary strategy. Let's watch some more of the video. He's had other quotes. He's In his China study book, he said that uh, fruits and vegetables were the best foods you could eat and raw foods were the most nutritious foods you could eat. I mean, that seemed like a pretty good endorsement for raw fruits and vegetables to me. So here's a Chinese study. Here's Dr. Campbell's book. What does he say? He says, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains are the healthiest foods you can consume, and they are primarily made of carbohydrates. So that's Dr. Graham's diet, right? Fruit, vegetables, and whole grains? Hmm. And I know he, you know, he promotes whole foods, so we're, we're totally kindred spirits and in terms of being kindred spirits, uh, sorry, but one is a scholar who does research, writes best-selling books, and appears on major news outlets. The other is a disgraced former chiropractor. I know, you know, he's got to promote what he promotes, so he doesn't come out and just tell everybody, buy the 80-10-10 diet. Um, <clears throat> I'm not even sure in his book if he mentions it by name. First of all, Colin Campbell does not promote anything. He's an educator and a researcher. He conducts rigorous scientific research. Uh, it's almost as if Doug is saying that, trying to explain away why Colin Campbell hasn't mentioned his 801010 diet book in his own work. 
Uh, the fact is, Dr. Campbell has never read Doug's 801010 book, so that's probably a much better reason why he doesn't mention it. But the thing I don't like is that Doug is almost insinuating that Colin is failing to give him, Doug, credit for this 801010 concept. As you're going to see in a minute, it didn't come from Doug. But to use those numbers, he's not the only one using those numbers. I mean, Dr. John McDougall uses those exact same numbers as well. Uh, he also doesn't mention the 80-10-10 diet, but he does say to eat 80-10-10. Dr. McDougall does not recommend Doug Graham's book. He doesn't recommend Doug Graham's diet. And he doesn't tell people to eat an 80-10-10 diet. He recommends people eat a starch-based diet. And among the things he's talked about over many years is that he has a high-carbohydrate diet, about 80%. He uses those numbers because people have been using those numbers for decades, as you'll see in a moment. I think that it's undeniable when you have something that works it can't be held back and and as I've always said I, I didn't <clears throat> I didn't create the concept of 80-10-10 I just coined the phrase Doug saying that he coined the phrase the 80-10-10 diet is like saying I coined the phrase the baseball diamond. You know, the baseball diamond, it's part of baseball, it's been around for 150 years or whatever. If I write a book called The Baseball Diamond, did I coin that phrase? Uh, and coined the 80-10-10 diet and, and explained how to, how to eat such a program uh, with an all raw approach rather than using a grain-based diet. All right, so here's something true that he said. He took a phrase that other researchers and other people discovered long before he got involved, and he called his raw diet using that same concept that these other guys have been doing. That's true. He didn't invent anything. He doesn't even credit where it actually came from, which I'm going to tell you now. But he used someone else's concept on his raw diet. That doesn't mean that there's any research uh, relating to his diet, because there isn't. So I'm, I'm thrilled that, that Dr. Campbell is so committed to telling people the, the truth. The healthiest possible diet is a so-called 80-10-10 diet. So you see what's happening here? This little, the healthiest diet is the 80-10-10 diet. And then Doug puts his book, his book, like Colin is endorsing this, right? Well, we know Colin isn't endorsing it. We know Doug is full of it. So now let's find out where did 801010 come from. So the concept of 801010 originated with a guy named Nathan Pritikin. Nathan Pritikin had heart disease in the 1950s. He did research on primitive cultures and people who lived a long time where there was no heart disease and found that they all ate a similar diet, which was about 80% carbohydrate, 10% fat, and 10% protein. This is the diet of the Tarahumara Indians in Mexico, the Okinawans, uh, tribes in Africa, and he realized he cured himself of his own heart disease with this, and he funded a lot of research as well. So here's an article from Nathan Pritikin called High Carbohydrate Diets Maligned and Misunderstood. Uh, this was published in the Journal of Applied Nutrition in 1976. And when we scroll down, we see he's talking about the Tarahumara Indians here, and they're thin, they're super athletes, they're long distance runners who can run hundreds of miles at a time. They've got striking longevity and no heart disease, no cancer, no diabetes really to speak of. And it, down here it says the Tarahumara diet consists of 10% protein, 10% fat, and 80% complex carbohydrate. It's comprised of corn, peas, beans, squash, various other native plants and fruits. So here's an early mention of the 80-10-10 concept in the medical literature. There's probably some even before that, but this is when Doug Graham was in high school. The diets of Pritikin, of John McDougall, of Dean Ornish, of Caldwell Esselstein, the Campbell diet, these are all essentially 80% carbohydrate diets. One thing I find interesting is that the genetically closest Indian tribe to the Tarahumara are the Pima Indians, and they split off from each other about 400 years ago. The Pima Indians eat the standard American diet. They are some of the least healthy people on the planet, awful obesity, diabetes, heart disease, you name it. So the food makes a difference, a lot bigger difference than the genetics. The bottom line take home message is that Colin Campbell does not endorse Doug Graham. He doesn't endorse his diet. Uh, he doesn't endorse the raw food diet. 
and these attempts to make it look like Doug and Colin are old buddies and that Colin somehow, you know, is endorsing Doug's diet, that's a con, just another con. Remember that when you're reading this guy's work.